my name is Beth Surface. This is Andy Hochhaus, and our project this weekend is called HTMLprint.io. HTMLprint.io is a print generation service that allows developers to easily convert HTML, that's pretty complex, to PDF on demand for their applications. So, why is this a difficult problem? It seems like it shouldn't be too hard in this day and age. Well, first of all, we don't want our web address on our PDFs that we're generating. Page numbering, we want to be able to customize where that appears in our PDFs. Headers and footers is typically difficult to do in HTML. We want nice page breaking, and we want to be able to generate complex HTML in our PDFs. Last of all, JavaScript often needs to run in order to generate the PDFs, and we want to know when that's going to terminate. Some of our existing solutions are you could use a browser print, you could use an existing PDF library, or if you're really crazy, you could try to home roll your own solution. In terms of customer validation, we actually approached this problem because we were trying to scratch our own itch. We needed to solve these problems ourselves, and we looked at a lot of the existing PDF libraries, and they didn't meet our needs. Um, one existing PDF library that's very popular right now is WKHTML to PDF. It's started by over 1,800 users, and the number one issue that's still open since 2008 is that there's bad support for page breaking headers and footers. Additionally, there's been a lot of discussions over this weekend from people, developers, who say, if you could actually get this going, we would use it today, and we'd start paying you money. Um, also, widespread PDF generation is necessary. Most apps these days do need to generate PDFs, especially if it's an enterprise application. Our value proposition is pretty simple. Um, first of all, our service is very simple to use. Basically, you send us a, a URL with a few query parameters, and you mark up your HTML just very minimally to denote where you want your headers, footers, stuff like that. Um, we're going to be generating high-quality PDFs, and basically we save dev time and cost. Our differentiation is that it's an on-demand service. You basically use IDs to denote your headers and footers. For page numbering, you kind of use a little bit of magic verbiage in your HTML. You, for page breaking, can use your CSS3 page media. Complex HTML is rendered using Frank and Chromium server side. And termination of JavaScript, you just call a magic function from your JavaScript when your PDF is done. In terms of customer acquisition and rollout, we plan to um, post to Hacker News, Reddit, and other tech sites on Monday morning. We'll be monitoring community reception at that point, determine remaining pain points for our service, and then maturing that as necessary. Our revenue and model is that for initial launch, we'll be using, we'll be rolling it out for free. We'll be monitoring our usage and our customer profile. Once we uh, have a better idea of that, we'll determine appropriate pricing and then switch to a premium model. So we have a working MVP up that kind of came up this whole weekend. Um, here's our launch. Uh, here's our landing page. So we're printing from HTML, and we're making this a lot simpler for users. We have a free account that you can go ahead and sign up to use. Once you have that free account, it's free and easy to set up. And once you have that, you will have access to a query page where you can go ahead and build example queries for, you know, when you're sending us to HTML, your different parameters that you can send kind of debug what you're going to send to us. Another nice feature is once you have that login account, you can also have access to a history page, so you'll be able to see and debug all the requests that you're making to our service. This is an example PDF that you could generate using our service, using headers and footers, complex HTML. This was actually generated using JavaScript to generate the HTML here. Thank you. Thank you. Judges, your three minutes starts now. Did you develop new technology to solve the problem? Or are you doing this sort of manually and that type of on demand? Yeah, that's a really great question. So we actually hacked into the Chromium project, provided a few hooks and customizations on top of that, and we had rolled that in-house at a startup that we currently work at. And for this project, what we're doing is we're exposing a service on top of that so that um, other organizations can hook into that and generate the PDFs on demand. So it's a few thousand lines that have a Chromium. So like, how does it make a million dollars? Like, or what's the milestone? Like, what would be a great outcome what kind of volume and pricing you can do 
Yeah, that's a great question. So we would want to first embrace the developer community, stabilize our product, and then this is a pro product that would be needed by a lot of em enterprise software development firms, for example. A lot of enterprise apps do generate PDFs, especially ones that generate you know, specific PDFs that for legal reasons need headers, footers, certain explicit layout types. They would need a service like that that existing PDF libraries just don't have the customizations for. How much would that? How much would some? How much would Grover Cleveland's uh, report? How much would they pay for that potentially? Five dollars, twenty-five dollars at enterprise. That's a really good question. I think it would depend on how much they're probably paying right now for the development of solutions that are similar in-house. How quickly does it turn around? How quickly is it? Uh, it's close to real time. I mean, uh, depending on how many pages are, we generate maybe about fifty pages <coughs> in a second. Um, so. It's, it's quick. And then sell to Adobe. <laughs> Acquisitions aren't bad. Judges, <laughs> any questions? All right, thank you. Thank you.